Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our calf barn here this morning. I mentioned in the last video that I'd uh, like to talk about the, the calf starter on our calves. So we're doing a little bit of a trial with uh, a group of calves in this barn. But I'd like to start the video by uh, sharing some news with you guys. Uh, if, uh, if you've been watching for a while, you know that my sister, brother-in-law, my mom, they make uh, gelato. Gouda cheese and cheddar cheese curds from uh, some of our milk here that we produce on the farm that our cows are producing and they were invited to send some cheese uh, to the Minnesota State Fair for judging and they actually ended up taking first place in the artisan category with their old Gouda and they sent in three different I think young Gouda, old, old Gouda and uh, what was the third one? Onion garlic, I think, I believe, which that's, uh, I think that's my favorite uh, flavored Gouda that they make. And I think they ended up taking first, third, and sixth, or something like that. Don't quote me on that exactly, but they did take first, which is uh, pretty exciting. It's pretty cool that, uh, that they were able to take first place in a category the first time that they sent in cheese for judging. So uh, yeah, if you, if you guys are uh, interested in buying that cheese, uh, they ship nationwide with the Gouda cheese, so uh, I think Taryn puts the uh, the website in the description every video. So head over there if you uh, want to ship some cheese to your door and uh, try some of their award-winning cheese. Which uh, couldn't say that before, but now we can say that in the in the calf barn here this morning. So these uh, these are ca calves in this barn that are from uh, about two days old. To about a month, five five weeks old, roughly. Depends on how many calves we have being born at the time. It's Saturday morning, and the calves are uh, they're gonna get milk here in about uh, ten minutes. So they're, they're starting to make some noise because they think I'm in here to give to give them milk, and maybe I'll come back in a few minutes so that they're uh, that they're not mooing so much. So these would be the, the oldest calves in this barn. These would be uh, four or five-ish weeks old. So I'd, all these calves from about two days of age, we start giving them this uh, textured feed. So it's got a little pellet in there and then some uh, steamrolled corn. The, the calf starter, what it's called, we've been feeding an 18% uh, protein the same calf starter for a couple years now. That's a custom made mix that they make for us at a plant here a couple hours away in North Dakota. If you guys remember back in, uh, probably would have been about November or so last year, we started feeding our calves uh, four liters of milk twice a day at their peak. So prior to that, we were at three liters twice a day and uh, we were weighing calves at around 100 days of age. I actually saw an increase of about 20 pounds on average per calf of growth in that first 100 days when going from three liters to four liters. So we're still doing that today. We did probably uh, three months ago. We, that kind of came down a little bit. So we gave up maybe uh, 10 pounds or so. Not really sure why that was or what the reasoning was. Nothing really changed. So started talking with our nutritionist about it, kind of uh, brainstorming things uh, that could have uh, caused that. We decided to do a little bit of a trial with a calf starter, a different calf starter. So this quarter of the barn here, this quarter is getting a different calf starter. So they're getting a 20% protein and a little bit higher energy, a little bit more corn and then and then once these calves are about a month old, uh, four, four weeks old, five weeks old, they're going to be switching to a uh, pelleted calf grower an 18% with a little bit higher uh, energy also. And then they'll be fed that all the way through until they're moved to our heifer barn. And we'll weigh them at that point to see if, um, if there's any difference between going that way versus what we're doing now. So right now they're getting that 18% calf starter from uh, two days old essentially all the way through until they go into our heifer barn. 
uh, cost wise so the 20 percent protein a little bit higher cost obviously but that pelleted calf grower is uh, significantly lower cost so on average i think we're actually going to be a little bit lower cost through the whole whole feeding the whole time that they're getting this uh those two those two the calf starter and the calf grower so i'm interested to see if um if we can get back to where where we were and i'm not sure if maybe you know warmer temperatures through the summer intakes are down maybe a little bit could be part of it uh, maybe they changed something on the the calf starter maybe it's not quite as uh, as tasty as, as it was i don't know if we're told that it's supposed to be the same mix uh, can't visually tell it on the heifer so if we were not weighing heifers we never would have known a difference they still look really good in the heifer barn they're just yeah 10 on average they've been about 10 pounds lighter than we were since switching to four liters over the winter time so we'll try this uh, weigh these calves as they go into the heifer barn around 108 days of age and when we do get to that point, I'll uh, update you guys on uh, how that turns out. Overall, calves have been doing really good. We have been selling a few heifer calves here and there, uh, about five-ish a month here in July. There's about 10 in July, we'll be about five in August, five in September. Just had a few extra heifer calves, more than uh, what I think we need. And had a local dairy farmer that was interested in the calves. He had purchased calves from us uh, the last couple of years, actually. So it does make sense for us to raise extra calves that I don't think we need to uh, come into our herd. So we'll uh, we'll sell them, and uh, hopefully they'll do good on someone else's farm. They're just feeding the youngest calves in the connecting alley now, and then they'll be uh, in this barn. I'll maybe come back over here once they do come over here to feed these calves milk. But they're, they're ready, definitely since I'm in here talking and walking around, they're waiting for their milk. Back in the calf barn here now, a few minutes later, Juan and Mauricio are giving the calves milk here, so we give the calves milk twice a day. Christian is cleaning the barn up a little bit here. They get milk twice a day and then they get topped off with the calf starter every morning. And then they also get, uh, the, we dump the water out in the morning and they get fresh water every morning. The older calves that are close to weaning or weaned, they'll eat more than a full pail of calf starter so they get topped off in the afternoon and they get water in the afternoon also. This is what that feed looks like. This is uh, from Purina, Land of Lakes. And then this, let's see if I grab it. And this is from Hubbard. So the, the Hubbard feed is what we've been feeding for quite a long time. Looks pretty much the same, very similar anyways. Only small, small differences in protein, fiber, and uh, energy essentially. So this border of this barn here that I'm walking beside here, these are the oldest calves in this barn. So we'll be moving these calves out in the next couple days. So typically the way we do it in this barn is uh, we like to keep one quarter or close to one quarter empty all the time. So these calves will actually get moved out to the hutches. They'll be in the hutches for a month or a little over a month and then they'll go into a group hutch together with three of them. To uh, get them introduced to each other before going into the heifer barn where they'll be in groups of around 15. So we have two lines of hutches outside. This line here that's under the lean on. And then we've got that about half a line of single hutches and then uh, group hutches here. Most of these calves in the individual hutches here are weaned off of milk. I think there's maybe 10 or so that are still getting milk. But we'll be moving that line out uh, here pretty soon and then they'll, there'll be about 40 calves again getting milk outside. So these calves, well you can see their, their feed bucket is pretty much full. These calves are weaned here and they'll eat a, a full bucket plus a little more. They'll get topped off in the afternoon. 
So the idea will be that we'll, we'll uh, transition them to the pelleted calf grower in the calf barn. They'll get that for about a week or two in there prior to moving to the individual hutches. And then they'll continue to get that uh, pelleted calf grower in the hutches all the way through until they get moved to the heifer barn. And we'll probably continue to feed it to them in that first pen in the heifer barn while they transition into groups of 15. And then from that point they go to a They'll get some grass hay and then they go to a, uh, a different calf grower, calf grower that's made locally here. Feeding that uh, calf starter, calf grower to the calves, it takes a little bit of uh, skill or maybe a little bit of remembering because they're trying to feed as much as the the calves are eating we want them to have access all the time but you don't want to fill that bucket up if the calf's not eating all of it because it just gets stale in the bottom so we're always trying to keep enough in the bucket that they have uh, feed to eat but we don't want it to get wet and uh, stale on the bottom but we do once a week clean out all the buckets, all these troughs here in the bigger pens and uh, we feed that to the older calves in the heifer barn and then start over with new feed. And then obviously if there's uh, water or manure in the buckets, we'll clean them out. They're just coming out here now to feed the last calves milk. And then Juan will uh, help Christian feed pallets and then Mauricio is going to feed water and then uh, they'll start doing other jobs after that. So uh, when we made the change from uh, feeding three liters at peak to four liters at peak, the, the calves were weighing around 300 pounds at uh, 100 days of age and here recently the last two months we've been down to about 290 pounds. Yeah, like, like I said before, hard to pinpoint really what... Hard to pinpoint exactly what uh, caused them to lose a little bit of growth. It could be, yeah, just because we're in the summer, it's warmer. They're likely not eating as much. Or it could be just uh, maybe something just changed a little bit in the calf starter that they're not eating as much, but... Wanted to, wanted to try a different calf starter, see if it made a difference. We've done it in the past, we've actually fed a 22% protein in the past and really didn't see any change. So we've, we've always had really good luck with the 18% that we're feeding now. But it doesn't hurt to uh, change things up every once in a while. Just because things are going good doesn't mean there's uh, no room for improvement. There's always, uh, always room for improvement, I think. I'm always up for uh, trying some new things to see if uh, we can do a better job, do things better, get better growth, grow better calves. If we can uh, grow a better, healthier calf, she'll turn into a better, healthier milk cow, in theory. But I, I think that'll be it for this video. did want to mention, uh, hit 10,000 subscribers here a couple videos ago, I think, which it's uh, pretty incredible for me to, uh, to even think about. I don't think I really imagined getting to that point when, when we started. I was hoping to get uh, maybe a few thousand views on a video that was a, was a big deal already. So I, I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, subscribing to the channel. It's been almost two years now of uh, posting a video every Wednesday. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching. If you have questions, comments, uh, post them down below. It's been quite a long time since I did a Q&A video, so if there's a lot of uh, questions or comments, maybe I'll do that uh, this time. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.